Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, Dan Dix here reporting for PressForTruth.ca, and we're here at the 2013 Bilderberg Conference, and it is day one of the Bilderberg Fringe Festival. Now, upon our arrival here, we were subjected to a bag search. We were subjected to being uh, having a metal detector wand in order to let us into the area where the press members and the protesters are able to gather. Now, so far in my, ex my experience, has been very different than it has been last year where we had opportunities to get footage up close of of the uh, attendees people like henry kissinger people like heather reisman from canada however this year it's a little bit different we're not exactly getting the opportunity to do so but we're going to stick around we're going to see if we can get those shots and we're going to uh, speak to a few of the people here on the grounds to interview them and get their thoughts on the 2013 bilderberg fringe fest these are our real leaders. These are the top brass of Western finance capitalism. The people who are here are the leaders uh, of the uh, chairman, chief executives of the top banks, uh, of the biggest multinational companies, of UN institutions like the World Trade Organization and the World Bank, um, of several EU commissioners and politicians from the uh, US, Canada, UK and EU. Uh, these people only come not to have a cosy discussion because they have an agenda which they have got to fix with their peers in order to concert their plans in order as far as possible to preserve or enhance their own interests but having to take account of other people with power and how they can do that uh, together as far as possible. That's what it is all about. I think Bilderberg is essentially a huge and incredibly powerful lobby for globalization. I think after World War II, they figured, is it going to be capitalism, is it going to be communism? And the Bilderberg was set up to ensure that the capitalist system continued. And if you look at the earliest ones, it wasn't quite as industrialist as it is now. I think as time has progressed on, it's become more and more of a capitalist lobbying group. Um, and I think this, that's basically what it's about. It's about the most powerful capitalist figures getting together, introducing uh, people to each other, and in my opinion that is a conflict of interest.